With electric scooters, uh, you're supposed to treat them just as a motor vehicle. An electric scooter is considered a motor vehicle by North Carolina state statute, meaning you're supposed to follow all vehicular laws of the road. Uh, so for example, you're supposed to stop at red lights, you're supposed to travel in the direction that vehicular traffic is traveling, you're supposed to stop at stop signs. Uh, even when you turn, you're supposed to wait for your traffic signals to tell you, give you the green light to go, and you're supposed to operate them on a roadway or a bike lane on the roadway. Uh, they are not to be operated on greenways or on sidewalks. It's extremely important to follow the rules, uh, especially with you're sharing the roadway with such large vehicles, being that your passenger vehicles, um, commercialized vehicles, emergency vehicles, you are operating with very little protection, unlike somebody who's in a vehicle. So it's very important to follow the traffic laws. It's extremely more important when major events are going on because traffic patterns are changed and a lot of people operating these larger vehicles may get confused or lost and they don't know what to do. So they may drive erratic or just not pay as much attention because they're paying more attention to the new traffic patterns or directions. So the safety for these e-scooter drivers is to make sure not only are they following the rules, but they're making sure their surrounding people around them are following the rules too. This is one of our most heavy populated areas during the weekdays especially, um, with all the businesses, major events going on, tourist attractions and things like that. So anytime you're driving down in the uptown area, you should use extreme caution because you have a higher e-scooter traffic, pedestrian traffic, bicycle traffic, um, just major events going on, our light rail system down here. You need to use extreme caution when driving in the uptown area.